Hi and welcome back. Uh, today I know this is Saturday. I know I said I would probably wouldn't be doing anything out here today, but I I've got one I got to get out Monday. So anyway, I'm gonna take this one right here and send it out. I've got uh, if you can see it. I put some I textured the handle just a little bit. Got my dog paw mosaic pin in it. Right there. This is the, this is the trapper. This is a this is a M4 a 742 model. Yep, the model 742. So when I get done here, I'm gonna like I said, I'm fixing to make a sheath for it, so it'll be carbon fiber type orange and black, and it will be ambidextrous. You can put it on either side. So I'll make the, the little thing there to, uh, to attach the a strap break on it and you can get it in and out but get good retention on it. So anyway I'm going to get on it right here. Uh, right now I'm going to cut out paper and put paper on each side of it there so it will uh, that'll give it a little bit of a clearance and it won't mar it up so bad going in and out because it's going to snap here on this right here on the finger choil choil yeah like that so it's a small little handle but it works real good feels good in the hand anything and when you're getting down and getting skinning and everything else like that you paint them anyway or I do that's probably my favorite skinning grip is just like that and then it's heavy enough you got enough spine weight on it it'll chop some too so anyway it's dull right now because I don't want to sharpen it because I know how this old one is but when you get it sharp it's sharp and it will cut you quick faster than in a hurry all right let's get on the get on with the uh, heating of the kydex sir and I'll be back in a little bit okay I've got my, my F clamp got it ready it's quick so I can get it down there and tightened up got my Kydex press that I made yeah I'm sorry if I made you seasick but I got my Kydex press right here cleaned out so I can get a good squeeze on it I made this just out of bits and pieces a couple of door hinges there and a little bit of that and some uh, anti-fatigue matting right here on this this is the bottom and this will be the top so now I'm gonna heat these up I'm gonna put them right there in the middle then I will take this knife like this and place it just like that and then sandwich the other one right on top of it carbon fiber side up like that close and put the clamp on it good to practice get everything right there where you can get a hold of it and I've got the uh, I've got the little uh, oven over here a little easy bake oven and I'm going to turn it on 350 are with me there it's off to one side How much you practice, so it goes wrong. Yeah, there we go. All right, now. Okay, now. There it is. Rather nice. There 
There it is. Now, this is for a weep hole coming down from a point. Right there. And hopefully I won't get in the way of seeing it. Okay, oops. Right there. Now, where's that? Come on up just a little bit. Okay, pull it around there like that. Yeah, that worked. Worked good. Yep. Get them squeezed in there good. I got this tape on there to help protect them and, and to hold them in place. I could have done it one at a time, but I prefer not to. Off on this one, eh, maybe not. Let's see if I can get it in there. Yeah, it's a little cool off. sink right there for some reason but all the rest of them I gotta be one in the crowd. Nah. I don't <clears throat> that'll do <coughs> excuse me. I don't want to do it. Right there. Yeah I done that just fine. Squeezed it right in there just like it's supposed to. Put back together and fixed here and get it tightened up here a little bit and I'll come back to you uh, for the final assembly okay it's been a while since I've you know I've got the got this knife fixed and ready to go I hope it's sharp it's old one so it's tough to sharpen anyway to handle textured it just a little bit there give it a little tractor grip and everything it's a little it's narrow but it holds good everything good so anyway so I got this uh, got this the sheath down I'm done I've got to clean it still it's like on one side orange on the other Either way you want to go with it. Got a nylon loop on it, belt loop. So I hope you can see this. Hopefully I'm not in the shadow. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Okay. 
Yep, I got it on a belt loop. Or it's fixed orange on it. So. And I got it to where it'll hang down a couple of inches. Now, the reason I put these on there, like these loops are big and everything, is when you sit down, then your knife can set up, can just go everywhere. It won't have to, it won't poke you and prod you and everything else. So, anyway, I'm gonna put this, put this together and get it all done. I ain't got any, I ain't got any arm hair, and I'm bleeding it several times there from, or I've sharpened this thing, so I'll show you how sharp it is. I've just got all my hair down. Yeah. I mean, I'm just barely doing it. So, yep. No effort whatsoever. I'm afraid of it. <laughs> so, anyway, this is. I'll get this finished up uh, probably tomorrow, sometime before or early Monday morning. Everything. So, anyway, it's Bobby Shields, Dog Bomb Knives, saying God bless.